Hi there, this is Kaz from You Want Pizzazz Video Editing Services. Today we have a quick tutorial on how to create text reveals in After Effects. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. We do weekly tutorials on Premiere, After Effects, and Photoshop, so make sure to subscribe to get all that good content. So this is what we're going to be making today. Alright, let's get started here. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is to open your After Effects. So once you've got that open, I want you to click New Composition, and this little box should show up. I want to keep it at 1920 by 1080. I'm going to name this Text Reveals Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. Keep the duration at one minute. It doesn't really matter. Press OK. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just to import a background that I have. Um, I'm just going to go searching for it right now. I just found this off of a free image site. I'm just going to drag this right into the project here. And the text reveals tutorial comp should already be open so you can actually just drag the background right in there. And I'm just going to scale it so it's at a place that I'm happy with. Sure, here is good. So the next thing we're going to do is create our text box. Go up here and click the horizontal type tool. Command T is the shortcut for that. And on the center of the screen, just click it and type whatever text you want. I'm happy with the font and the size. You can choose whatever font and size you want over in this panel over here. Now I'm just going to center the text. So under the line panel over here, click align horizontally and align vertically with the layer selected. So it is in the perfect spot that I'm happy with. Now we're going to do the fun part, which is a reveal. First thing I'm going to do is click the rectangle tool over here. Shortcut Q. And I'm going to create a rectangle that covers the full length of the text. Nothing more, nothing less. Great. So we're happy with that. And now what we're going to do is click the Text Reveals text. Under Track Mat, click Alpha Inverted Mat, Shape Layer 1. So now the layer is gone, and it's because it's being covered by the shape layer. If you move the shape layer to the side by clicking P, you can see that it reveals the text now. And now all you have to do is animate it. So start off here at the beginning, and you're going to make a keyframe on the position. Click the stopwatch, move over a little bit, click the diamond icon here, and you're going to want to move it all the way across. So you are animating the shape layer moving across the screen here. So we're going to keep it at about here. And you can see that it's now animated. Highlight the two keyframes. Click F9 to do the easy ease. And now you've got a nice little animation here. You can play with the speed. I'm just going to make it a little quicker. You can do that by just moving it in a little bit more. Great. Now the next step is to create another shape layer. So go up here. If you're not on the shape layer already, press Q. And we're going to create a tiny little line here. And it can be as big and small as you want. I'm going to just change the positioning a little bit. Let's move it down. We want it to just cover the top and the bottom of the text. Now that you've created shape layer 2, we're going to want to attach it to shape layer 1. So go to the beginning and actually turn off the transparent layer of shape layer 1 so you can see where it is. Now move shape layer 2 so it is just over shape layer 1. Just like that. It would help if you actually made um, shape layer 1 a different color because it doesn't really matter what color it is. It'll help you distinguish that between shape layer 1 and shape layer 2. So I'm just going to move this so it's just right on the edge here of shape layer 2. That looks great. Okay, you can go ahead, turn off the transparency for shape layer 1. And now we're going to link shape layer 2 to shape layer 1. So now, when it moves across, it should reveal the text as it does it. Pretty cool, eh? But if we want to do a little bit more, let's move the keyframes for shape layer 1 over a bit. And we're going to make this little stick here dissolve in before it moves across the screen. So hit T for opacity. Make a keyframe. That'll be the end keyframe. Move it across so it lines up with the first keyframe of the animation on shape layer 1. Go back to the beginning, make another keyframe, 
and put that at zero. So now it's going to fade in before it moves across the screen. And why don't we just get it to fade out as soon as it finishes on the end keyframe of shape layer one. Hit the diamond for opacity. Move it across the screen a little bit. Click another diamond and make it zero. So now it should fade out after it finishes. All right, there you have it. That is your text reveals tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for our weekly tech tutorials. We do Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, and much more. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a nice like. Thanks for watching our video. Have a nice day.